What's good, YouTube? We're here with the House of Champions. I'm uh, John Moore, and I'm from Texas, and this is my YouTube channel. And we're here to watch Yu-Gi-Oh battles, and the South will rise again. <laughs> the South will rise again. <laughs> you gotta do it with a little Ooh. twang. Chad might have just won this. <laughs> the three out of five. Like that scissors though. Oh, what the hell? He's going first. Oh wait. Oh, he's blue. Right. Of course. Never mind. Yeah, he might have just won this. If like, he was green, off. he would die. This hmm. is my rematch from Swiss. Ooh. Damn, We're this guy. These guys have been to Switzerland. Wait, were these the number one and two? That's happened in a lot of our tournaments where the number one and two slot who played the joke match rematched. Let me look. It was, uh, was that, that the, uh, the joke match, it means they always play a different format because, like, they guaranteed in. And, like, Josh played Dragon Rulers with somebody. And it might have been Chad, or it was either Chad or Carl. <laughs> Casual decks only. Okay, joins with Dragon Rulers. No, 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 not ca It's a, a joke match. Yeah, it was Chad. So this is, uh, but he was versus Carl, not Josh. No, 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 no. It was Josh versus Carl. My bad. Robbie still has the wrong names on his YouTube. So I guess they played prior to that in Swiss. Yeah. Josh, I guess, went through the gauntlet then because Josh uh, walked away 6-1, losing only to Carl, and Carl, the undefeated, got taken out there. I see uh, Josh is a bit salty. His opponent opened two or three offs. You can tell. <laughs> oh no, you opened two or three offs? That's insane. Rage. And everyone hit that follow button. Uh, only for uh, today, uh, we're going to have uh, the option to donate also for Robbie's car instead of just to the stream itself. So uh, if you want to donate towards that and help him get in his car, feel free to help. I know Nadir's going to donate a lot. I'll donate a bicycle for him. <laughs> <laughs> I like to ride my bicycle. <laughs> he can do the, his YouTube videos on his, on his bike instead. That'll be, that'll be great to watch. <laughs> I can just imagine the mountains of sweat pouring. You might literally kill him <laughs> by him slipping on it. <laughs> I've been trying to get that man to work out for years. What's his excuse? No excuse. Can be bothered. Oh yeah, I need to stop scrolling through Facebook. I need to stop before something bad happens. Yeah. I saw something from the previous episode of Game of Thrones. I need to stop. I have no reason to be on Facebook again. Yeah, the be the Brexit will be followed by the Texit. Texit. <laughs> Texas has been talking about this for far too long. We either need action or we need people to shut up. We were the only state to be our own nation. 14 years, I tell ya. I'm aware. It's literally because America wouldn't take us in. <laughs> yeah, it's because they don't want to have bad relations with Mexico. How unfortunate. We literally walked over. Set, all came to live in Texas because Mexico was kind enough to let us emigrate. <laughs> then we're like, uh, I think this is ours. And Mexico tried to have a war over it. Mexico lost and we just took Texas. I just don't doubt there for a second. Are you arguing Texas isn't Mexican? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Definitely I said, not. I said Texas is the state where we, uh, basically uh, we all walked over here. Mexico was kind enough to let us emigrate. They're like, okay, okay. Then we just sat there and we're like, uh, we're going to take this. Yeah. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks, Mexico. The Mexico tried to defend. Mexico could not defend. And uh, we took it. See this thing here? That that's ours now, boy. And then America wouldn't take us for fourteen years, and we tried to have our own terrible government. Mm. So this is definitely not as strong as the openings that we've seen in the past couple games out of Chad. Hey, man, there's a there's a phoenix in scale. Never oh. underestimate. Oh, we're lit. My fault. Yeah, look at that winged beast that here. Not even <laughs> a dragon. That Texan sheriff walking around. Oh. I mean, that's how. Uh... That's how it starts off, you know? It's a, it's a winged beast, and then it, one day it grows into a dragon. <laughs> it's the journey. I... Dinosaurs became the birds, not dragons. Dragons don't exist, John. 
Yeah, they do. Are you kidding? What's a? Are, aren't there uh, down south of you, down in Australia, the Komodo dragons? What? Those, those, are, <laughs> <laughs> those aren't even from Australia. But all right. Aren't Komodo dragons in Australia? They might be, but they're not indigenous to Australia. They're, I believe they live in Australia. They probably do. What doesn't live in Australia, man? I've yeah, seen that, some of the videos like, of their animals. Yeah, I've, I've been there a couple of times. It's definitely not the safest place to live. Um... Uh, Indonesia. Ah. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I remember the racist Johnny Quest shows and the... <laughs> it would usually be somebody like that that used them. Johnny Quest is the most racist show ever. Oh, so set three. We get, yep, we got a crowbat into three. Oh, no response. Got a breakthrough, not a strike. Huh. I guess he just like pokes with both. Yeah, that's probably the safest play. So if storming happens, he gets Joker back. I mean, you could pendulum one. Um. One sorcerer. Why not go for it? Depends on the other card in his hand. Uh, yeah, since yeah, the joke went through, I think it's kind of safer to use the sword effect. Why? Oh, I Google Komodo dragon images, and every single p person hanging out and like petting a Komodo dragon is white. Literally every single one. Well, <laughs> white people, man. I'm saying. <laughs> you, you're scared Whoa. to walk on the same side of his, as the street in the dark as a African-American man, but uh, <laughs> you'll go <laughs> and lay down next to Komodo Dragon and pet it. Hey, John, your device isn't fully protected, you know that? I knew that. Mm. So you know, man. Can I always be protected? I use protection when I can. Good to know. Bowden is awesome. Ancient fag. Hmm. Yo, Bowden. Bowden's going to Worlds. Uh, your client's a little mad about that, I hear. Yeah, he got that PM. <laughs> you're, are you Alessandro's uh, you're his agent? I'm his, uh, I'm his manager, yes. I, uh, I deal with all uh, celebrities. Yeah, who's that bum trying to claim yeah, to be I, his manager? Yeah, I was legit about to ask. Who's the bum that's trying to pretend to be his manager right now? Uh, just some guy looking for a job. <laughs> so he's not gonna find one is what I heard, nice. Maybe we should set up Bowden versus Alessandro for best in the world. Well, best in the world, you know, that could work. Gui? What does uh, Bowden play? Like, what's his signature deck? Is it Burning Abyss? I mean, he went, he won his world's invite with Burning Abyss, so... For Al yeah. Alessandro, yeah, he definitely... He's a, fan a of BA thing. Master Mirror match. Yeah, Bowden's definitely a fan of it too. Had a lot to say about it. Oh, he played it for his invite as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we gotta have a BA mirror for this. All the skill. No ghost reapers allowed. Yeah, oh. Jake Jake wanna play him. He wouldn't? He yeah, Jake, him? Jake didn't want title the, to play for the title best in the world. He ran away from it. Yep. What can I say? I uh one of the few people worthy of playing my client, and he just refused for no reason. Sometimes you gotta run away from the champ. What was the reason? Did he actually give a reason? Nah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. He doesn't play fans. I see. So I doubt he ripplings here, because then he gets Joker back. <laughs> so now we main phase two. Maybe hit off a back row. Maybe make another magister. I mean, set three do nothing doesn't really strike fear into you, especially when they were all non-responsive. Like, I feel like it's at least a call a mojo. If you have strike, you don't even fear. Like, you know, there's almost nothing to fear. Yeah, so I guess you just keep keep your resources alive and keep keep swimming, keep poking. Jake doesn't play fans. Um, I don't think Alessandro's a fan, man. Pretty sure. Uh... Yeah, I don't think he's a fan. I'm pretty sure, you know, he won a YCS, you know, so he got he got privileged enough to be able to challenge for the title of best of the world and he refused for seemingly no reason other than the fear the pure Ooh, shaking fear in his heart. 
Oh, well, last one. What? I actually like Someone's that. Someone's slip rider. That's so terrible. Has he switched to Monarch? He has switched oh, to Monarch. Oh, he did. Oh, right. Hello? What? <laughs> My friend just messaged me. He's like, I think he's playing Monarchs. It's oh, a, man. What a legend. Funny, funny, funny. So now he tributes. This is where he summons Kuraz. <laughs> <laughs> bang, was... bang. This is terrible. He yeah, probably has a way to but, like, Why is he even bother to reveal his deck? Yeah, I might have scooped here. Like, if he thinks he's going to lose, like, why is he even playing? Like, he's just showing him his deck now. It's a 3 out of 5, yeah. That could have been huge for game 2 to reset at 1-1. One, one. Someone with two bet tops can't be the best in the world, sorry. Yeah, that's true. That's why Jake wasn't allowed to play my client, I guess. Since he only has two tops. How many tops does Jake have? Uh, definitely more than that. He's got at least four this year alone, I think. Uh, well, Alessandro so doesn't count ARGs. Is this year? No, he, he's topped... He topped Houston this year as well. For uh, oh, yes. YCS. I'm, lo I'm looking it up this champ rank. Champ rank. Yeah, Jake <laughs> Finney. Oh, sorry, Jack Finley. Uh, he has 17 tops. Overall. Are those uh, regionals? Yeah, no, this is only ARGs and YCSs I'm counting. Like, not yeah, ARGs. So, 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 so Houston, so Houston, Vegas, San Jose, that's four in this season. And San then Jose was a YCS? YCS San Jose. So it, was, it, was the, it was the YCS where Necroz was getting hit and Dark Destroy was legal. So it was that, that weird one weekend period. So okay. we've got a Tzolkin touching on down, I think. Nope. Is he considering a Your rank 5 instead? <laughs> and he does go with the rank 5, so maybe he's going to clear some back row here. Ah, Durandal, okay. Shuffle his hand back, it's that bad? That's it's definitely a play that I make. Like I make that play regularly. Ooh. Durandal's really good against Cosmo. What? Like, oh my god, he knew There's he had the strike. Like, why did he show his deck? That's so pointless. Jake has like eight this year. Savage, the thing is, they're not counting uh, ARGs in this talk. How many tops does Alessandra have this year? Or overall? Um, we haven't had a YCS this year. Oh, we've had oh, one yeah, YCS. Oh, so you're, like, you're supposed to have like Paris, right? But like, it got. That yeah, was the one that had like. Cancelled. Uh, usually like, there's a YCS in April, but they just didn't have it. It's the German YCS. They just didn't have a German YCS this year. And we always it. like to take this time to shout out trollandtoad.com and Team Jobber. Uh, without them, you wouldn't see a $100 duel for uh, 3 out of 5 with Josh Bravarnik versus Chad Armijo. Sorry to interrupt the chain of thought there. Always got to take time to shout out the sponsors. No worries. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. Yeah, your your client has two tops. YCS Germany top eight and fourth place in Euros. I mean, man's been playing for two years. You know, went to Worlds. What can I say? That's all that matters, right? It's the Worlds title, boys. When you get to Worlds, Worlds is the only real event. Really, let's re realistically. Hey, hey, it's know. it's a exclusive invite to the world's big smallest or sorry, world's most exclusive locals. Like. Call what you want, man. It's worlds. Worlds. No, no, oh, no, like, between each letter. Yeah, yeah if, if it's, it's not caps lock uh, with dashes, then it's if I like, if I count. could choose between winning my nationals, the U.S. nationals versus worlds, I would choose nationals. Even nah. though the, the worlds, like if you win worlds, you get to go back for free. Like that's Hello? really nice. World champion. Hello, world champion. Yeah, but the, honestly, you won the harder tournament to win the U.S. Like, nah, yeah, okay, no, look on didn't. look on Facebook. Uh, how many world champions are actively known versus, like, if Patrick Coben speaks... Every, okay, but if Patrick Coben speaks, how many people reply? If Corey McDuffie speaks, how many people reply? If Noah actually says something that's not Corey McDuffie 2.0-ish, how many people speak? 
the Babe Ruth effect, man. It's a logical fallacy you're committing right now. Patrick Coburn wrote it in his book, just saying. <laughs> and... I've studied his book, man. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so he went first, and he I monarched. really think Josh should have stuck to Cosmo. I mean... I, I think, like, after having played him in Swiss, like, I don't think it was incorrect to, like, try and switch it up a little bit. Especially after knowing what deck he played. A little but... bit. A little bit. Nadia reads? <laughs> I hate myself for, for swapping. Okay, at least... At least he admits it. You win worlds, that means you cheated. I've heard so many stories about Savage cheating at worlds. How, like, don't they have, like, three judges, like, per match? Per <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, I would never try I mean, to cheat at Worlds. Exactly, like that, that's how you get banned for life or something stupid like that. I mean, that's how you cheat, right? Like the more like out there and ballsy you are, like the less likely you're to get caught because I guess like a judge is probably watching you thinking, there's no way this guy's gonna try to cheat. And then he does, you know, so it's like... Oh, Lord. And a lot of things are subjective, like stacking, like, you know, like how do you like sit there as a judge and say that, oh yeah, he stacked him. Like sometimes it's very hard to like... Oh, oh like, face like, off. This is what face happened, off. game one, top four. <laughs> I mean, the big issue is the rulings. Ochi CG rulings are easier, so different. So it's yeah, easier. that's that. That's definitely like would be a factor if. Well, that might be that contributes to why a lot of like American players like not don't do as well as Worlds. Not not like making excuses, but like it might be like. <laughs> not not making excuses, but it's definitely like a factor. Just saying, you know, there's been like four Italian World Champions. Hey, well, point, I, no I haven't played the I haven't played the game at all. I I can tell you that. <laughs> pointing no fingers. Yeah, pointing no fingers try. at like where and why. <laughs> you should never try to cheat, period. Oh, Nobody's saying you cheat, man. Yeah, who said that? Nobody said that. It's surprising each match doesn't have a judge at OCG OCG objectively better or something. Uh, no, because in OCG you can summon Erebus and then go like chain link one Erebus, chain link two idea. Like that is so dumb. Yeah, that's the one thing like after hearing that being a thing, like, it's, that's kind of dumb. Yeah. Although, in all fairness, America is the only region that uses the weird Call of Haunted ruling with, like, MST and stuff, so... Oh, so if you, like... MST, Chilling 1, Chilling 2, Call of Haunted, Target, Deneb, you don't, oh, they get, don't the get the effect. Yeah. Yeah. So, in America, you can, in America, you can blind MST and not Amer get punished. And then they chain and summon a pilot and you still got punished. Yeah, but what he's saying is like the Dark Destroyer would also get to destroy and then... Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. It's, so yeah even in, even, it's the same in Europe, right? Like, they don't get the... No, you do get the pop in Europe. You do get the pop, so it's only, only the That's US. what I'm saying, only America has that. Yeah, like, they could call the Neb search on a call that got destroyed. Yeah. Shout out to PPG. Is Josh playing? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Steven Rich. Oh, hey. So, can he game here? This is the final, right? Yes, yeah, final. Game. game two. This yeah, is so yeah. underwhelming. This is terrible. Yes. He's like set pass, like both games. Hey, it was set he passed the first one, alright? Monarch does the, the. This is why Monarch's the best deck that will never win. Yeah, special, uh. Um, just, just curious, if, if Upstart was back to three, would would this deck be like so much better? Okay, so much ridiculously so much better. better. Like it's like two percent more consistency. So much... With three Upstart versus one, and not having to play the bad cards, like no, it's way Upstart, better. Upstart gives you like a, about a percentage of consistency per Upstart in your deck, assuming like you open all three. So it's like hard to actually calculate the actual statistic of what Upstart does for you after deck thinning and stuff, but like, like just hypothetically 40 blind cards, like Upstart gives you 1% per... Unless there's Upstart. a fader here, we have game. Um, we're still waiting, like... That, we go. That, that dank fader from... When was that? What YCS was that? Was that Rimini? Rock, I think. Okay, oh, yeah, that's what it was. Go, go to new game and then go to sighting and let uh, Josh pick. Is this best of five? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that fader was uh, Quincy, I think, in time against Cosmo. <laughs> that was, that was the most like, 
Oh my god. He, there were so many different ways he could have had game to play around that fader. Yeah, that, that, that was about to say that. That's actually just what's what's funny about it. Like, there was Volcasaurus, there was, like, there's so many different ways. The thing about Upstart in this deck is that it fuels up Doctor exceptionally well. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, but we're talking about Monarchs. I don't think Upstart is enough to make Monarchs, like, worth, like, better. Oh uh, yeah, we're talking about, like, it, when they both pick Doctor. I would love that. Just for Abductor. I would love that. Oh yeah, like, the, the percentage that it makes in Pendulums wouldn't calculate like how it benefits abductor like I, I wouldn't even be using it for consistency oh my god what just happened no, uh good. is there they, they have to do this to get back to siding oh, three out of five okay. that, that, like that like... <laughs> thought he just like looked at his hand and went like <laughs> i have games to give <laughs> oh he's saying he, he, josh was supposed to scoop that one. Oh well so 2-0 chad's up going into game three of five Who's Patrick Hoban on DN? Uh, Patrick Hoban. You know? That's Nicholas Raninger. No, oh, that, that's Patrick Hoban. Like, who else would it be? It's Nicholas. Why would Raninger. anyone lie on the internet about their name? Oh, man. It's crazy. I never check my messages on YouTube. Hey, Slim. Would you be interested in some tournaments that are held in Jamaica? Of trying to build a community. Whoa. Or to Ochad. This Hello, is where chance. he comes back with sleep three two. I feel like post siding, like especially with four games of siding, um, this is gonna be like way more in favor of uh pendulums. Hey, I finally got that channel removed that stole all my content. Nice. Hey. Zodiac does How do good. So long? I don't know why it took so long. It was really annoying just seeing like it wasn't even that many views, but like he had multiple of my videos with over a hundred views each, and I was just like pretty upset about that it's like well come on like he has hundreds of my videos literally like How that was crazy some guy told me on zodiac well i wonder if anyone's out there copying my channel i'm almost a little bit offended oh i bet there's somebody copying you <laughs> somewhere out there in the deep void of yeah there's it's just slowly one video at a time from you <laughs> all your live duels Oh, don't worry, Nadir, I'll rip your videos and you can shut my channel down. <laughs> Alright, Edge95. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What? This game is an unholy, wicked, satanic, and filled with demonic materials, enchanting, living... I'm going through my YouTube messages that are spam. Living evil spirits and much more. Please oh, repent in well. the name of Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. There is no other real god than him. Those games should never be played. Don't mess with Satan and eat from his kitchen. You're destroying your soul by playing this evil game and reaching out to all their demonic materials that the internet offers. Don't be ignorant! Oh, I mean, it keeps going, it keeps going, and there's a link to www.almightywind.com and a quote from Revelations and Proverbs. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. I mean, if he's talking about demise, like, that's, that's <laughs> totally, like, on the side. And so Josh opened set two pass and chat up in monkey board, if that explains anything. Should do a video about that. I'll just like roleplay or something. I want to read this message out loud on my YouTube. Is it, that's one of your private messages, right? Yahusha slash Jesus Christ is the only real God. Who is Yahusha? Is that Jesus Christ in another language? Uh, Yahweh is uh, Hebrew for God, I think. Ah, okay, okay. Do not worship like Satan me. and sin against God by your own soul. Hey Nick, nice monarch deck. <laughs> oh, he's only pendulum one. Is he scared of warning? Like, just go in, man. Like, it's I, probably I, just like set stormforth from like nothing. He's not gonna get escalation stormforth for like a red layer this time. Like, yeah. I don't see the issue. I was playing a game earlier, and someone did a really weird play. They foolish burial red layer and then special red layer to add it back so they could trigger return i was like so terrible yeah i mean they didn't call <laughs> that brain fusion you gotta do what you gotta do dog <laughs> uh it's like mechanically like even if monarchs were hypothetically the best deck just like mechanically i just i wouldn't play that deck it's just so boring 
I enjoy like I actually think the mirror match is pretty like it's, I don't it's actually I don't I take it back like I feel like I play people that I'm better than the monarch mirror but it doesn't matter because like it's just so hard to play around prime and storm force and like all these like interactions that you could have Oh, there's that main deck Cosmo hate coming in hot. <laughs> oh, it's almost as if that's good against Monarchs as well. Who would have thought? <laughs> what is Josh playing? Uh, he's playing uh, set pass. He's playing yeah. Synchron so far. That's all we know. Yeah, so far all we know is that he's trying to go in with Synchros. <laughs> so he's like bricked with Synchro Fusionist twice. I guess that's what happened. I haven't even seen a vassal or like a tenacity. Like, curious what, what very luster. And before he's like testing for nationals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was the finals. I uh, I thought that we were playtesting. <laughs> this is just bullying at this stage. Like, if he doesn't have a play now, like this is bullying. Well, there's twin twisties. Ooh, hello. There's a prime monarch starting off. That's nice. a good. That's good. That's good. We got progress. Oh, that's oh, hey. restrict. That's good. Those are two floodgates I needed to leave. Activate pantheism. Mm -hmm. Pantheism, let's get in there. Make plays. Ah, that's oh, that's not hello. the worst either. No Valor yet. Please Valor. Please Valor. Oh, there's Valor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like it had to. It had to happen. So his only like play now is to like hope he can like tenacity and then fill the grave for prime so he has a spell to not die. Oh, but he. Oh, he can he can storm force and then ether if he's got it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that was still hilarious though. I was like, he's gonna have the Valor. Like he's just not gonna get to play it all this whole match. Like sometimes, like the stars, mm -hmm. like just align against you. Like that's just what happened. Like break three games, like finally draws a play and like gets Valored. <laughs> like what can you do? He even had the twin twister at like every everything else, but like he had the Valor. This is just really unfortunate. <sighs> Terraforming. You gotta protect against the other twin twister dog. Iris. You don't know if Jesus played Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> what? I'm Chad's roommate. He's always this fucking sacking. <laughs> he's hardly sacked him. Like he's uh, just opened like generic pendulum hands. Just, yeah, he opened monkey board. board this game. That's pretty. That's pretty nice. Yeah, the thing is, like, I, I always hate when people complain, like, oh, you open the one of in pendulums, and it's like the deck's literally made of like ten one ofs. You know, you're gonna see one of them. I don't. Oh. Uh... Tell chat to play better. <laughs> Mister. Uh, well, does, uh, does he have a Slayer in his extra deck? I'm kind of confused. Oh, he's using a... Iris. Okay. If he actually had a play... And like wasn't worried to twin so you could have scaled the luster, normal to another monster, and then mat magister summon the luster and then made it mystery. Yeah, before pendulum summoning. Yeah, that would also have like baited the back row. But if that wasn't MST in the sky he was in a really bad spot, so you could go either way and just play it safe right here. But let's be honest, he's got like nothing right now. Strike! And, and MST would give like be the only way he doesn't lose right here. So like, it might be the safe play just to like, not even worry about it. This is the reason why Monarchs aren't winning national. Monarchs are such ooh, a good deck. Ooh, on summon. How did they win every national? Ooh, ooh. Are we going to banish oh. this too? What nationals did they win? They only won UK nuts. They, I think they've won every single national that wasn't German. Ooh, Thanks. we do have Aether. He's still in there. He's still in here. The premature yeah, celebration yeah. as the Stormforth is going to get added back to hand here, too. I can sense the 3 2 comeback. That'd be legendary. I'm not going to lie. This is actually very, very big. Yeah, because now it gets his engine going. Uh, okay, so Holland uh, was won by Pendulums. Germany was won by Pendulums. Italy was, was? won by. German Nationals? 
Yeah, Magispector something one German Nuts. Holland was Cosmo, wasn't it? In where, Germany? No, Holland. Oh, no, it was Pendulum. There was oh. a Cosmo on wherever I reported. Yeah, it was somewhere in Scandinavia that had a Cosmo win nationals. Oh, it was Cosmo Demise won Dutch national, and it was Belgian nationals, Pendulums won that. Okay. No, there was, there was like just a pure Cosmo deck that won somewhere in Scandinavia, I believe. Did they not run Demise? No. Oh, Scandinavia has like two people though who play Yu-Gi-Oh, so. Fair enough. Uh, here we go, finals of German nationals. Sending a return, that's a bit surprising. Uh, he's just, he's just getting fodder and grave for Prime. And he can add this uh, Stormforth back if he remembers to. No, he already yeah, he, Oh, he said ch declared chain link, okay. Yeah, he's a judge, he's not gonna forget that. So now the best that uh, Chad can do is use the Magister, bring back the Luster, make a Dinoster to spend pass, I guess. Um, I mean, if he really wants to, he can like... Oh, he used Iris to turn, didn't he? Never mind. Oh, uh, yes, he already did. Because I was going to say he could have went into Odd Eyes Fusion. If you like, Iris one, crashed one. And here comes the Dinoster play. So yeah, it went from very subpar to pretty nice. Yeah, like, Josh's engine just like gets going now. What a turnaround. What uh, an answer. <laughs> Oh, I just saw the German national they're talking about. It was like a Magispector pendulum deck. It was weird. Yeah, now I remember seeing that. I'm winning nationals. Oh, you did that, Cam. Yeah, you know that Cam's winning nationals. I wish I was good enough to just declare I was going to win an event. I know, right? <laughs> Like, dude, you're gonna win Euros. I hope you know that. Hey. Oh, I'm, I'm so convinced it's gonna be someone from Complexity Card Gaming, though. The, the deck is so good. I haven't seen anyone that... Actually, I haven't heard much about, like, the European, like, sponsorship. They're, like, RPPG, right? Or are they somewhere different? They're what, sorry? Are, are they similar to RPPG? Like, in terms of, like, the players they pick, or... I'm not sure I'll if you know about them. I mean, it's it's. I don't know what RPG is, but like, it's it's pretty much like the best of like Europe. Okay, so you could compare it to like Card Guys, PPG, anything like that. Yeah, like. Okay. Like I'm pretty sure like the most statistically accomplished player in Europe is, and in, in the world, sorry, is in a, a CCG that's like still actively playing. Well, uh, sorry, you have to. I don't know the name of that guy. Uh, Michelle Gruner. Mm -hmm. It's got like a stupid amount of points on. Well, actually, I'm not sure because mm -hmm. uh, the point system is different depending on what mm -hmm. website you use. So, the United Ghosts website, that's another team in Europe. They're really big. They have Galley, actually, in UG. Wait, is Galley from Europe or from Central America? No, he's from Central America, but he's in UG. Okay. Oh, okay. No one does did flame me for calling out the bad Castell last match. He's his roommate. <laughs> Gruner's a really good player. Yeah, he's got like stupid amount of tops. Wait, what, sorry, what was the first name? Michelle Gruner. Michelle. Michelle. Okay. Even I know that name, and I don't even know any of his tops. I, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I haven't been. He's around just this so handsome. Level. That's why. I've never met them or seen them ever. He, so he top sixty four last year's Euros. Top eighted worlds, one euros, top euro. Dang. Dang, he's good. <laughs> Everything from like 2000 was a 10 to like 13, he dominated. It's just got a weird uh, ranking system thing on, um, depending on what mm -hmm. website you use. Yeah. So now we're getting in there. And here style. comes the guy at Charger too. Is that game? Uh, I believe yes. Six hundred. Yep, it's game. Ooh. No, no, he's a two hundred. What? No, it's, it's definitely fifty-six right there in two ethers. No, that's. Oh yeah, you're right. That's, that's, that's two hundred over. For some reason, I thought fifty-two. Ooh. And so. It's a sign of life. 
from a hopeless seeming situation to what an answer we have uh the next match to happen and yeah so uh they have to redo the rematch again because chad had scooped instead so we've got a 2-1 start from uh chad i don't know why they're really playing rock paper scissors Michelle won Yu-Gi-Oh! Video Game Worlds too a while back. There was a video game Yu-Gi-Oh! Worlds? Yeah, there used what? to be, yes. So, like, used to, uh, there was an actual ranking system for the video game, and the top eight from the video game would, like, get to play at Nationals or whatever, and, uh, actually get to play for a spot at Worlds. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. don't they still have that? Uh, I don't know. I, when the new video came out, I actually made sure I stayed in the top ten for a while, just in case that happened. Like, I was, like consistently in the top 10 for the first three weeks the video game was out till the like i finally asked and they were like no we're not gonna do anything like that for this game and i was like oh damn that's uh yeah there's ways to cheat at it too but like i didn't cheat to get my ranking i just streamed it like hours at a time day after day and like a lot of people actually watch the video game like it's the most that i can like i consistently had 200 to watch the stream but, like, uh, the video game was a lot more popular because it's an actual video game and that's what Twitch is for. Yeah. They'd rather see fast-paced video game action than, uh, slow, drawn-out, uh, thought-out duels. It's so weird. Like, I just, I, I love watching you go on Twitch. I don't understand why it's not bigger. Uh... The video game's actually... I'll probably buy the next one and start streaming it for two weeks or so. Three weeks, depending. Like, I had a huge base for it, actually. I had, I had a lot of people who would donate. Like, because uh, the thing is, though, parts of the the reason why the donations were really good for it is you actually had to grind it out. You have to get every card from packs that aren't from the starting decks. So, oh, like... Yeah, That's so, fun. like, if, when somebody makes a deck request in that game, it takes a long time to fulfill it, actually. So, like, you get your money's worth because you, you force the the player to grind and grind and grind and actually get the cards in the game. So now Chad gets to go first again. <laughs> I mean, he just has to win one of these next three. Well, next two. Oh, next two, yeah. Like, just Ariadne, Chaos Trap, pull him and you'll be fine. Did you sign up for Duel Links Beta? No, I did not. Maybe I should have. Maybe you should have, John. Maybe you should have. Did you, Nut Ear? I don't even know what that is. There you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, John, that After Dark you just posted. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading it right now. That's why I keep laughing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this boys and girls is why you be careful on Zodiac. Oh, man. The After Dark's insane. It's going to oh, be so good. Rob the Robbie Cole one? Yeah. I'm, I'm dead. Oh, man. I saw that and I instantly was like, okay, n never again. <laughs> I, I, I saved that earlier today, and I was like, no one's ready for this After Dark. You're not <laughs> wrong. I don't think anyone could be ready for that. <laughs> oh, hey, and Monkey Board. Oh, she wasn't ready. Yeah, this is definitely an amazing start. Luster loaded, Monkey Board Joker. Only thing is we're missing some traps, and he had to Lizard Gi before the Pendulum, so he's probably not going to have as many back rows as he would oh, like. Oh, no. Hey, it... it if he can if he can pendulum summon an abductor here, like he would have done abductor, I'm sure, a different way. But if he can pendulum summon an abductor, he might even be able to like search a veiler. Possibly, uh, it wouldn't be as efficient as he would like if he was gonna do that. Yeah. Ooh, pendulum summon. So we might just be ending with a harbinger here. I think he definitely has. Some form of traps with three cards in hand, and only pending four. Probably like a Necro Valley or. He has to have hand, hand traps or. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if he didn't pendulum all the way through, then he has some kind of contingency. 
He could also make Ignister Dweller. I don't know. You don't make the Ignister. Dinosaur Dweller, maybe? You can make Ignister. You can make Harbinger here. Yeah, you can. I'm it just depends thinking. On what else. Like, if he's got a Necro Valley or a Trap, I think I'd make the Yeah, Harbinger. you definitely do. Oh, man. I, I really hope he just wins for, like, time's sake, because I'm, like, collapsing here. Yeah, is he in, like, 4 a.m. over there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Oh no, this after dark's going so wrong so fast. What I were you expecting you. to come out of that? Like, were you expecting something <laughs> positive? Like... I was expecting dank memes. Like, you just posted that and you were like, hmm, this is gonna better society. Like, what did you... I'm not sure what you were thinking. So he got a hee haw? Yeah, because he tried to add a sorcerer off a sorcerer. Oh, he's got a Democrat. <laughs> Powerpuff Girls crossover with Teen Titans. That's cute if a Teen Titans show mattered these days. Definitely can't do. Okay, I can. Whoops. I'm not trying to be the other noob over here. And here's the contact fuse, the bring back, the... He doesn't make Dweller like this, though. He hasn't, but he does have a Harbinger, and I'm assuming he has at least a Valor or some kind of trap in Necro Valley. If he has Necro Valley 38, that should be fine. That That's be just saying. fine. That's definitely a good position to be in. All I have to do is hold it for the storm force, and we are lit. Especially if he has a Valor as well. I bet just game. Oh, that works. <laughs> I guess. Well, here's some of the dead cards then. Oh, thank God! Just like, please win. <laughs> Does he have a strike? I love <laughs> watching. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Quote Nat here. With? He had the unicorn, the odd eyes unicorn, and a little lizard draw. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. quote that here. I love watching Yu-Gi-Oh! on D and... Uh, oh, well, please let this end. And not at quarter to five in the morning. Oh, my oh God. man. <laughs> so, um, he's got to play out of double negates, a back row. I mean... And it's probably scale set for the next turn. So like, Good luck having two negates. Brilliant Fusion would be the best start. Two, well, three, three negates. No, yeah, it's two, two. Two and then a back row. Come on, Chad, you can do it. You definitely use a negate on a, Oh my gosh. I think you use the the Harbinger on a uh, Brilliant, possibly. Because... I don't know why he didn't... Oh, there's MST. Okay. I oh. think you let this go through unless that's like a restrict. I agree. If, if that's a restrict or like some kind of floodgate, you vortex it. If it's not, you just cut your losses. Yeah, definitely. It's like he can't play under restrict anyway, so he doesn't need to worry about storm four for whatever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like that, that card outs everything else you could worry about. Okay. Yep. He's letting it go. Wow. Already over a thousand likes. What? Uh, Patrick Hoban's post. Yeah, Hoban's post. That's crazy. So yeah, you. So if he activates return here, actually a pretty easy out to this board is like return. Or like activate storm force. Uh, then I guess the vortex would negate it, and then harbinger would negate the return. So yeah. Yeah, you can negate the effect of the return. Yeah, yeah. Like you just, had, I would just negate. Wait, can you negate the activation? Activation or effect, you can choose. Ooh, Ooh. there is the brilliant. I think you have to stop it. For sure. Ooh. Um. So the, the difference here is if he has another Brilliant in hand and he Vortexes it, he can activate it. If he hopes it, then he can't. So... 
Yep, that's what he's doing. He's making sure there's not a brilliant coming in the near future. Oh, Oops. nice. Oh no, the raw. Attach that card to this card as, as an XC material. You get, how do you even negate? Wait, what, what's the difference? Sorry. Uh, hope neg or hope harbinger negates the effect. Vortex negates the activation. So he could, if he had another brilliant, he can't activate Ooh. it. That's yeah. That's. It's that's like the same good. thing with Stormforth. If you stop it from activating with uh, Odd Eyes, he could activate another Stormforth. But if he stopped yeah. it with Hope, then he could not. What just happened? Oh, he went great. Yeah, he, he, he accidentally overlaid the Brilliant over it. We. Okay, three cards in hand. Can you still play? So, he's down to one Negate left. And there's still the issue of the Harbinger on board. I think, really? Well, I'm not sure you expected to get this far. So, has Odd Eyes been used? No. No. Okay. That's his last negate. So, the idea. You... MST instead of Twin Twister, because, like, you could, like, discard useful th stuff. He could play Domain if he plays Domain. The one, like, the out that I see, I'm not sure if he plays Instant Fusion, he could do that. And that is into either he negates it or he negates the monster effect, and then you just eat Dea Erebus or something like that, <laughs> which would be pretty ideal. But no, oh, so we're doing quick draw, and you can't mm. negate that, right? No, you can't. It's an, it's an inherent summon. So can he negate Zulkin? Yep. Yes, he can. This... So I'm not sure why is he doing this. <laughs> why is he doing this? Oh, that's because a set card is a Raigeki. <laughs> Fair enough. That'd be a definitely good reason. <laughs> oh my god, it actually is. That'd be a really nice sixth card opening. He's just thinking now, like, hmm. <laughs> I mean, you definitely have to get it, because if not, he just Crystal Wings and starts going in there. What does Crystal Wing do, though, hypothetically? It rams he gets into it. Hope Harbinger? It gains the attack of Hope Harbinger when it attacks, doesn't uh, it? Sure, but like, and then what? It makes it really hard to get over. That's just the main thing. But it's you can get over it next turn easily with uh, Vortex, because all he needs to do is like, Ignister it. Oh wait, he probably uses Ignister by it. So he like, Castells right. it, and then he like, negates the negate. Oh, so that's, that, that's oh, it. Get it. The bluff. <laughs> so Josh loses 3-1. Chad Armijo, your new Zodiac champion, right? Yes, it is. So, uh, any final notes before we uh, end this for the YouTubes? No, it's a pretty interesting Hold match. The I wish still the Cosmos for Josh to make it a little more interesting. I'm gonna go and kill myself. 